Hi, Dr. Rob Norris, pharmacist here at Chambers Apothecary. Uh, welcome to a new video series that we are doing, um, building off of our uh, series with the pharmacist on Mondays. Um, this is going to be specific to one particular topic, and we're going to actually uh, break it down over a course of every week in the month of July. And so, as I alluded earlier in other videos, uh, this month we're going to be focusing on, on CBD hemp oil. Uh, and all that it can contain and all the information that goes along with it. And we're extremely excited about it. Um, so uh, without further ado, I, I'm going to give you uh, some background information, if you will, because I think that's a good place to start on deciding if CBD hemp oil is right for you and, and all the things that go along with it. So to back up in the early 1990s, and, and don't worry, this will be a quick uh, history lesson. I, I don't want to bore anybody. But the 1990s, they discovered uh, the endocannabinoid system. And that system, just like other systems in your body, the endocrine system, your cardiovascular system, um, is a system that is very important to the functioning and regulatory systems of your body. Um, specifically, that system is made up of uh, two receptors, CB1 and CB2. And these receptors are thought that if you add every other receptor in the body, all throughout the body, everywhere from head to toe, and combine all those together, it still doesn't outweigh how many CB1 and CB2 receptors that are there. Um, it's pretty impressive, which means um, this endocannabinoid system that um, the CBD hemp oils um, plays a role with is everywhere in the body, everywhere. Um, which is why uh, so many people um, that are that are have or are interested in these products are having such uh, major uh, changes because it, it's everywhere, literally in the body. From there, we go to the idea of okay, I, I get it, but CBD is that like from the marijuana plant? Um, I keep hearing this term hemp. You know, what's a hemp plant? You know, what's the difference? Is hemp the same as marijuana? Uh, and so I want to uh, put that to rest as well. You know, you have a hemp plant. You have a marijuana plant, and if you put the two plants in the same room, they're gonna look the same, they're gonna smell the same, they're gonna seem exactly the same. The only difference between a hemp plant and a marijuana plant is what's the amount of THC uh, that is in the hemp plant. Um, by federal law, there has to be less than 0.3% THC uh, in a hemp plant. So if it has that amount or less, it can be called hemp. Uh, and products that are derived from there will then be considered hemp in a non-marijuana uh, form. Um, if for some reason that plant or plants um, are found to have a higher amount of that THC, then that is a marijuana plant. Um, for talking purposes, everything that we are going to be talking about um, from a CBD hemp oil product perspective is going to be based from the hemp plant, um, which again is less than 0.3% THC. From that, there are three more popular categories of products, um, and they are your full spectrum hemp products, your broad spectrum hemp products, uh, and then you actually have what's called our isolates. Uh, CBD, for example, is an isolate. Uh, we have CBG, CBN, CBC, all different types of specific uh, compounds within that original hemp plant that are extracted during uh, different processes to um, hopefully give some different desired effects. So the idea of calling a lot of these products CBD products is actually kind of slang because um, if you're talking about a full spectrum, for example, you're not just talking about CBD, you're talking about everything else that's in it. Um, and later on the videos that we're gonna be talking about, we're gonna get into what is full spectrum what does that mean? What products? Why would you choose a full spectrum product? Broad spectrum. And then what are the isolates? Um, and we'll get more into that later into our, our weeks. And all of this information coming at you uh, is going to be further explained and, and delve into in our Zoom call on July 29th. It's a Wednesday at 7 p.m. Uh, we're doing a free Zoom call to the community. Anybody and everybody is welcome. Um, we're going to be having more information on how to get signed up for that. Uh, so we're going to be covering tons of information. So it would be a great time to come if you are unsure about uh, hemp products, if you are curious about hemp products, if you're already taking it but want to know more. It's going to be a great informational uh, month for you, but specifically um, a Zoom informational seminar. Um, so we talked about the, the three most popular categories within that hemp uh, plant. Um, and then the products themselves. There's tons of products. I mean, there's products everywhere. 
Um, for our purposes, we typically see more commonly creams, uh, topical creams. We see um, liquid oral um, products. Also in the oral category would be uh, capsules, gummies, um, gels that we're seeing it in drinks now. Um, there's powdered forms for different shakes. So there's many different type of oral type products. Um, and then we get into categories relating to animals or pets, cats, dogs more specifically. Uh, it's a very, very popular um, category. Um, and then you're going to see all kinds of other products. There's bath bombs and cosmetics and tons of products out there. Um, from there, when you look at CBD hemp oil products. The next thing is what, how do we understand what we're taking and is it is it good? Um, the FDA doesn't necessarily uh, or they don't regulate this industry to some extent. There's a lot of speculation on what they're going to do. Uh, at this point, it is not considered a uh, an OTC drug, um, and so uh, and part of manufacturing uh, regulations um, leaves it up to the company actually doing it to make sure they're. Uh, following good practices. So one way to measure out different manufacturing companies is to look at what's called a C of A, a certificate of analysis. And being uh, a pharmacist and a compound pharmacy um, in particular, uh, we're used to this all the time. This is nothing new to us. So when we make compounds um, for animals or for, for infants or for really anybody, we make them from scratch and we use a lot of high-tech equipment and a lot of calculations and thought go into why and what we're making. But at the end of the day, uh, the, to know exactly what we're making and how accurate are we making it is we send it off. And that comes back in a form of a certificate of analysis. Um, and we'll talk more about how to understand certificate of analysis. But the important part for today is that um, once you think you find a good company to buy from and a good product that suits your needs, now is, does that product actually have in it what it's supposed to or that you want and that the company did what they were supposed to do to ensure you're getting a good quality product? Um, so a, a big overview of, of a lot of information that I actually covered here. The endocannabinoid system has these uh, CB1 and 2 receptors all throughout the body, more so than anything else. Um, this is a hemp plant, not a marijuana plant, and the distinguishing factor is uh, the THC component, uh, which in this case is less than 0.3%, which makes it a hemp plant. And the three most popular categories are full spectrum, broad spectrum, and you have your isolates. You have a huge array of products, and really one of the major ways to understand what's a good product over another is looking at the certificate of analysis. Um, all that to say, we're going to be getting way more detail, um, that, uh, but our product, our Chambers Apothecary brand, um, is manufactured for us to a level of quality um, that is unlike most that are out there. And we can say that because we have the certificate of analysis. We have the understanding from, from seed, from field to our shelf, the process, what's being done. Um, and we're going to get way into more detail on that and talk to you more about our product. Um, and so the purposes of these uh, courses over the, uh, the next several weeks is to give you tons of information for you to be able to look at products and really understand exactly what we're talking about. Um, to understand that if you have questions, come to us. This is something that we feel very, very passionate about, something we spend a lot of time and energy on, um, on learning. Not to mention, this is exactly what we do. As pharmacists, we have compounds or medications or drugs that have varying effects, and we look at how do they all interact with each other. Um, anything from an over-the-counter supplement uh, to just a basic herb, CBD, your medications, all these things we are taking in consideration of, um, which is extremely important. You'll see posts, and we feel very strongly of, that you should be getting your CBD hemp oil products from a licensed professional, someone who has uh, a background to understand how this plays a role uh, amongst everything else that you're doing in your daily life as far as a, a supplement, an herb, or a medicine may go. Um, and all that to say, we just want to be the resource here for you, that we're here, and we're here for you, and we take this very seriously. Um, and it's something that you should take seriously as well for your own health. Um, we're ex very excited about it. Remember, July 29th, it's a Wednesday at 7 p.m. 
Uh, we're going to be having that live um, uh, Zoom meeting, so it's going to meet all of our, our social distancing uh, requirements. We're not going to try to get everyone in one room. It's going to be very convenient. Um, you can do it from your house, your home, wherever. You can have a group of people together and then sign on. So we're very excited about it. Feel free at any point to uh, stop in, give us a call, send us an email, post on these videos if you have questions. Uh, we have a dedicated staff that will immediately respond back to you uh, with the best answer, and, um, and we look forward to that. Uh, having a level of engagement is what makes this exciting for us as well. Um, so I was very happy to kick this off here uh, with our first video. Um, every week we're going to be doing one to two videos over the course of this month leading up to the end of the month of our Zoom meeting. So uh, remember here at Chambers Apothecary, we are more than a pharmacy and we look forward to taking care of you. Have a great day.